guys welcome to your youtube channel where we talk all about gate exam we are studying dvms and into that we are up to the normalization the decomposition properties loss phase join and dependency preserving are i hope are well understood by every one of you now is the time to do the real decomposition because we have understood the properties and now when we go further and do the decomposition we are in a position to check that following the two properties or not to start with we will see a decomposition done up to the normal form of third normal form that is the highest normal form that we will strive or we will try to achieve by the decomposition is a third normal form the given relation could be already in the one normal form that is first normal form or it could be in second normal form it doesn't really make much difference so for that matter i have taken the direct example right here in front of you and the question says that we are given a relation r with five attributes a b c d e and these are the given functional dependencies right now as i'm trying to decompose in the higher normal form so for that first of all we need to know which normal form this relation is already correct and i hope you all very well remember and know that how to do that first of all find out the key of the relation what is the key of the relation correct for that matter look at all the functional dependencies and try to derive so i take my ab at first as i always do the very first functional dependencies de determinant part and so ab plus is what ab is gives me it is going to give me ab it's going to give me c c is going to give me d and d is going to give me e right right everything else no uh does a is determined by something no b is determined by something no a plus gives you something a plus gives me only a c d e but not b b is not coming from anywhere b plus gives you anything nothing but then only b c plus d plus e plus no no other combination can derive that so this is the only key so what becomes a key the key is a b the single key okay so once you already know what the key is what is the next part the next part is to find out the type of dependencies if it is containing partial dependency or not if it is containing transitive dependency or not accordingly so a b to c that means a complete key is determining a non key attribute right so these are the key attributes rest all these are the non key attributes or the non prime attributes so this is a very good functional dependency to go we face no problem right here c to d guys look at here it is non key determining a non key what kind of what kind of dependency please remember from your previous classes i mean the previous videos that you have learned so far it is a transitive dependency similarly a non key determining a non key it is a transitive dependency correct now here a part of key determining a non key so this is part of key determining a non key so what does it make it makes a partial dependency now once we know a relation containing a partial dependency which normal form it is in straight forward it is in 1 nf the first normal form so now is the time to go from a lower normal form to the higher normal form so this is the lower normal form right the higher normal form is 3nf because in this video we are trying to know how to get into 3nf so like from 2nf to 3nf and we can also say from 1nf to 3nf right so we are going from this lower normal form to this higher normal form it's a decomposition to be done next that means this bigger relation will get decomposed into multiple relations so i am going to get a set d which is going to contain number of relation but the point is how to find out those sub schemas those sub relations so for that very simple statement whatever functional dependency is causing a trouble for this relation to be in the third normal form whatever functional dependency is causing a trouble for this relation to be in third normal form for that functional dependency make a separate relation give it to a separate table or sub schema that means if i consider here i see three of the functional dependencies that is c to d then is d to e 
and then is A to C. My dear friends and my dear students and the viewers, I hope you understand. No matter this is transitive dependency, this is also transitive dependency, and this one is partial dependency. So yes, you might say partial dependency shouldn't be a problem. It's a problem for two NF. True, but you, we all also understand that two NF is a primary requirement for a third normal form. If a relation is not in second normal form, it cannot be in third normal form, right? So even this is a problem for the third normal form. So what we are supposed to do is, at first, nothing but then, whatever are the problems, so these three are the problems. Whatever are the problems for that, make a relation. So I make a relation R1, where I put the determinant and dependent as it is and make a separate relation. So that is R1 CD. Okay, then I make the another relation R2 with the determinant and dependent part of second dependency which is a problem for us and make a separate relation. Furthermore, the last dependency which is a problem A to C make one more for this. Okay, make one, one more for this. So I got R1, R2, R3. So somebody might think, are we done yet? No, we are not. We are yet to get another relation R4, which will be there to join, to make a join possible in future. You know, lossless joint property, correct? So now these are the sub relations, but they are not containing a joint factor between them. For that matter, we take another relation R4. Okay, we take another. So this fourth one is not a problem. This is the joining relation rather we can call it as okay the joining relation so what this r4 is going to contain take out all the dependents from where from the original relation r so whatever dependents you have used in the past in the dependencies which were having flaw which were trouble for us from all those dependencies take out the dependent part and take them out from where from the original relation so cut them off cut them off cut them off okay and whatever is left over that becomes your r4 that becomes your r4 so r4 is a b okay so with this what i can say is my decomposition set becomes c d d e a c and a b so once we have got the decomposed set what should we do next because we know the properties, why shouldn't we check for the properties, right? So let's check for the properties. The very first, the lossless join. Is this lossless join or not? Certainly yes, but let's just check it out right in front of you. So I'm taking these two. What is the common attribute? That is D. So find out the D plus. D plus is D and E. So this that is our super key of this. So let's merge them. So it becomes C, D, E. Let's compare this with AC. What is the common attribute? That is C. So let's take C plus. What is the C plus from here? It is C, D, E. So that makes C is the super key for this one. And now join them. So what does it become? So it becomes A, C, D, E along with the, the next one, AB. Right? So what is the common attribute? That is A. Take the A plus. A plus is A, C, D and E. So again, A makes up the super key for this. So that means this one is definitely a lossless joint. Okay, the decomposition is lossless joint. The next functional dependency, the FD set. Is it preserving all the dependencies or not? So the very first, the direct method, that is the I blink method, right? So C to D, you can see is present here, right? Yes, so this is present. D to E, you can see is present here. A to C you can see is present here, right? Now you must be thinking what about A, B to C? A, B to C, where is it present? If at all you doubt, if at all you doubt, you can check from the direct method though it, it is present, okay? But I will still do this for you. So this is A, B and I'm taking this with A, C, okay? So it's closure, that is A closure. What is A closure? That is A and C, okay? Intersection again with AC. I hope you all have seen my previous video where I have explained you the dependency preserving method. Exactly what I am applying here. So this becomes AC and we are running short of space. So for that matter, let's clear it off. 
and uh, yeah so that becomes ac okay after this step we take union with ab and that makes up abc correct we started from ab we have reached up to abc what does it imply it implies that ab determines the value of c and if it is so what do you say yes it is preserved so this is preserved this is preserved this this all of them are preserved so if i have to put a check on the two properties for this decomposition so this is done and this one is also done furthermore if you really want to know something then this decomposition is not only the 3nf decomposition rather this is also the dcnf decomposition you can see each and every relation which is the decomposed relation we have got are binary relation and i have always been saying in my videos that binary relation is always in bc and f all right so yes this is how we are supposed to do the decomposition and if at all you have some doubts i'm coming back again with another question